Morning, you beautiful people. I hope you're all doing good. It is bright, nice, and early, and we are on our way, way, way down to Birmingham. Is that a really bad accent or what? So we are meeting up with a couple. Of, well, I think there's about eight other plumbers from the social media world. We're going for a factory tour, social media day, with Share Stop. So if you don't know what Stop is, stay tuned because you're soon going to find out. It's a great device that's going to help elder people, anyone with arthritis. So yeah, stay tuned. But before we do, don't forget to smash that like button. Let's get into it. For all things, Dave. Uh, any products that I'm testing out, look that adjust the lighting within the room, various tips, depending on adhesion to my, my head. Binoculars, so I can see uh, far away things. Right, so we're just down at the with the guys at Sherstop. And we've got plenty of familiar faces, MGM. Mr. Tiffers himself, how morning, you doing? Morning all. Morning, morning. Who else we got here? We've got Sterling, Liam. I see you. No, it's empty yeah. map. If you want it quick done. <laughs> If you've never seen a shirt stop before, this is a shirt stop. They come in this sort of design, which come in 15 and 22 mil, and they also come in compression as well. Uh, but they also do this one, which is doesn't have the switch on top. And then they come with these these tubes. These tubes connect into your two socket, um, connections there, and then well, this one the behind this pink cap here, and they go to one of these switches, a bit like a light switch. No electrics, no batteries. It just works on water pressure. It's a really good bit of kit, to be honest. Um, handy for disabled people, elderly people, anyone with arthritis who can't turn a stop tap. Um, to have this sort of easy enough just to switch that, it turns your water off. It's great. And people need to be more, made more aware of these because I've tried selling them to customers before and they haven't got a clue, they've never heard of them. So especially for elderly people who are going to struggle to get under the cupboard, back, to, back of the sinks, to turn the stop tap off. Something like this is ideal, so they need to make, be made more aware of and that's why we're here today. So. It's where he does all the extra 10% testing in this unit here. You see it's getting a thorough test after the girls have all done their, their test as well. He's going through and just double checking everything and making sure it is bang on to be fair. So when you're taking an old brass tap out, if they earth bonded in place, they've made these clips which just clamp on, these are 22 mil. Clip onto one side of the pipe, stop tap, and then onto the other side of the stop tap. So they literally have thought of everything here. The testing machine is testing right up to 16 bar pressure, but he's saying they will double withstand up to 30 bars of pressure. So that's pretty impressive to be fair. Guys, so if you've never seen a short stop, this is a short stop in situation here. This is a bit of a demo sort of thing. So you've got 50, well it's 15 mil, 15 mil, 15 mil, and you can get them on 22 mil, coming push fit and also compression. So they have the standalone ice, uh, stop taps, which see what are on, turn it off, simple as that. But they also have these remotes as well, which come, these tubes come out of the bottom of it, Let's turn that on. Down to what looks like a light switch, turns it off. Really good for people with disabilities, that maybe have arthritis, elder people that can't get into the back of cupboards and may struggle off, struggle to turn a standard stop tap off. You can replace these uh, for your standard stop tap. Sorry, replace a standard stop tap for one of these. So yeah, perfect for elderly, disabled, and for social housing. And to be honest, to have one in your house, anyway, whether you, I know I'm going to have one in my house when I get back. 
I highly recommend it. They are a really good bit of kit. You can, they've also got some coming out which you can work off your phone. So I'm excited to see them, see them in action. Not physically. <laughs> right, so after the brilliant day yesterday over at Shear Stop, I have got I am privileged to have an opportunity to fit one today. So I'm gonna walk you through how simple they are to fit. The other thing is this job isn't quite as simple. This isn't my plumbing. I haven't done any of this. It is absolutely uh, shocking. We're gonna have to replumb some of it basically. So originally I was gonna put it before the stop tap, just because there were a bit of nice clean copper there we could connect it onto, but just typical. A stop, tap, a stop tap outside in the street is a snap and doesn't work. So I can't do that. So we have to get Yorkshire Water out to come do that, but it doesn't stop us from fitting the tap. So what we're gonna have to do, at the moment it elbows, and then just behind this T, you can't really see, behind here, it tees up to the to this T here, which goes to the outside tap and the kitchen sink. But then it also goes down at the back of this pipe here. Um, it goes down to the kitchen boiler and other bits and bobs. So, not the kitchen, sorry, the bathroom. So what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna disconnect this T here and put a cap on this pipe. So then what it make, means, everything below this T is on the same pipe work, basically. So what I'll have to do is bring a T back out and connect back up to that T there, potentially. I might, I might put, do that differently, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then my sure stop, which is here. So it's on push fit connections. We'll just go onto that pipe there. So I'm gonna try to film as much as I can of it because obviously it is in a tight space, but we'll do what we can. So let's crack on and get this fit. So after a little bit of messing about, we've got the, uh, it neatened up a little bit. We just shot it through, teed it up to the cold there and then just cap that off. So what we're gonna do is take, put a new elbow on that, drop that right down and then tee it off. There's a speed fit pipe under the floor. We'll tee it into that and then, just get rid of, rid of the spaghetti junction that was in there already. So, we can start fitting the shear stop now. So shear stop, this is what comes in the box. So this is the stop valve itself. So like I said, just push fit your two, your cables, just push into them two connections there. You've got a manual switch on here, which can be locked. You press it in, well, switch it off, press it in. So you've got to make sure you fit it in the correct flow. If you fit, fit it incorrectly, it will knacker the insides and then it's no good. Sure, stop saying that's one of their main faults, if not their only fault that ever comes back, they get a phone call saying it's, it's not working and they fit it the wrong way around. Fit it incorrectly, it will just blow the insides. So make sure you are following the arrow. Um, you can't really get it wrong, you've got flow there, in and out there, and another arrow underneath. So yeah, don't fit it wrong. And this is your switch. Switch comes with this important notice inside, uh, underneath, sorry. So it just tells you how to pi pipe up your tubes and how you need to loop them round, basically. You've got this bag with some screws and some cap, um, some nail clips in to nail your tube and keep it nice and neat in your cupboard. This is your tube. Comes just like that, basically. And then you've got your instructions. So if it is your first time fitting one of these, do make sure you read through the instructions thoroughly so you're not doing things more than once. So yeah, let's get this fit in place and hopefully it goes in well first time. So we're gonna fit this into this area here, like so. So what you have to do is, section of pipe you need to cut out is basically from there to there. So your pipe goes all the way in up until roughly about that point. So if I hold that up against the pipe, mark up where I need to cut out, cut my little section out, and then hopefully we've got enough play in there to just pop, pop, and it should hopefully go in first time.
So with our section cut out now, we're going to push it on so we're making sure our flow is in the right way. It might be a little bit tight this, but we'll see. So that just pushes all the way on. <laughs> With this in place now, we've just screwed the back box, it's just like a light switch box basically, same size, just screw that back to the wall. Well, inside the unit, you can screw it to a wall if you'd like, if, because the tubes are long enough to fish right down. I could have put it up there, I could have put it in another cupboard, but it's just easy enough to push, put it in the same cupboard, high up, so you don't have to bend down and click the switch or turn the stop top off. So next, what we have to do is push these tubes into the connection on top here. So they just push in. Like so, and I grab in. They're in there, solid. And then what we can do is cut this to length, fish this back over, and like it says on here, we need to make sure we loop them round and cable tie through there and cable tie them tight to clip them nice and neatly. And then we'll get our clips in so it looks nice and neat. Right, so what you have to do before connecting up to the switch, you need to vent the air out of these tubes. So all we're gonna do is get a little tub. A little tub in there like that. And turn the water on. Let's turn the taps off a peak first. Right, so now we've got water coming out of there, we can get it fit onto our switch and they just push in just like they did on top of the valve. They just push in, making sure they go all the way in, which they have. And then, like the instructions, make sure you loop them round, but also do your zip tie first. So loop them round, one round there, one round there. And then it just pushed onto place. There's no screws, nothing. So I'll give that a little wipe down. Oh, pull that back off. Let's get rid of this zip tie. It's imperative that you make sure you don't kink the pipes in there because if you kink them, you're going to um, cause some faults. Water back on. Just checking for any leaks. We seem okay, to be honest. Um, I think we're all good. So, let's get these clips clipped into place. all in what we can do is make sure we switch on which we are and then switched on there let's turn the water on so 
a nice flow switch it easily turns the water off i'll just trick out what's resting the system and it should come to a nice stop like slowly getting there it's getting there so that's all turned off so it's simple as that really good bit of kit um, handy for anyone like say disabled person anyone with arthritis any elderly people that could, are going to struggle to turn off a normal stop tap so i highly recommend it sure stop simple to fit comes with a two-year guarantee they do for all different size pipe work check them out sure stop